What's going on everybody, it's your boy SB is the truck star and welcome back to another dancehall video tutorial. In our video I will just break down compressors and limiters. Basically, literally the same thing. The only difference between a compressor and a limiter is the ratio. You understand? Limiting typically start at about 6 to 1 or 10 to 1. Some people even say 4 to 1. But for this video, you see if we don't say 6 to 1 ratio, you basically start limit. 20 to 1, you typically are just straight limit. You understand what I say? But that's the only difference between a compressor and a limiter is ratio. So the demo truck I'm going to have for the video is this um, female like a vocal part. And we'll kind of just go through different compressor and break down the different sound you can get from different compressors and different features or different compressors alpha and all of that so i'll give you a preview of the vocal it does sound squash and terrible but that's okay we'll just um play it it ought to run through at least about 15 to 16 different compressor all at the same time so it does sound terrible so let's play that he gonna like that one it's still like this one hashtag that one Cause I'm his fave one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. It sound like shit. <laughs> but that's cool. Um, so let's get some of these uh for the screen. Let's close out them. Uh. And the only thing I would all left turn on is this um meter from waves. So we do solo that out. Everything else can turn off and we don't kinda go through the compressor them one by one. So the first one, we have this puke child from waves um which is bsr for the fear child 670 tube compressor is it a tube compressor i believe it's a tube yeah it is a tube compressor meaning it have the little glass bulb in it and that how it achieved the compression or whatever so it, it had a lot of characters it's really good though 20 grand for a brand new one <laughs> so um we have that the version them also have um they have the t-rox version that's the ik multimedia version of the waves version and um we have another version still but it big i really want to fling it on the screen but i basically the same approach different manufacturer and different people and make plugins though put in for them own a feature matter of fact me don't load up the other arm um, version i'm off so give me one second all right so when i say like different people don't have different features with them add to the plugins you can kind of get basically what me um get at um by looking at the the overload version all right so these are waves this are ik multimedia and this are overload so you can see so the basic things them still you have the input the threshold and then the time constant that's the the typical shit and then you have the output gain upon all of them every one of them have an output this one have two this one have one this one have one see me but if you look on the overload no you know what say we have a, a individual rock on the bottom over here so i in um introduce some different feature like the the dc threshold typically it depends on the back of the actual unit waves never include that um waves have a a, a a nice switch over here so you can turn on um some hum or whatever just some nice um i don't believe the other two have that but the overload version have a couple of different characteristic modes where you can choose between me personally like the los angeles mode um but basically it's all the same compressor it's really just a tasting is why you like and that's what i say so we don't run through the um the waves version first and we do solo them out so we can kind of um compare them so what i need to do is get drop down menu so we can turn on the bypass switch in the plugin itself and then we do just kind of go for the same amount of gain reduction upon all of them and then listen to all of them and see how them sound individual so if we i'm gonna add some reverb to the vocal just so when i just do work with this dry boring vocal you know what i mean um so let me play that real quick and then just add some reverb he gonna like that one it's still like this one Hashtag that one Cause I'm his fave one It's still like this one Hashtag that one Cause I'm his fave one 
And then remember, nothing else not do to the vocals. It's just a vocal that get, get record and we're running through a compressor right now. So it's a clean vocal, no EQ, no DS, no type of treatment whatsoever. You understand what I say? So, like I said, when it comes to features, the wave is just strictly to the point where it's supposed to be. Boom. So we have the input gain, we have the threshold, we have the time constant, which is the release and attack combined. You understand? Some compressor will give you the option of having release separate. This I want to don't. It have them combined. Um, so if we... I'll go for about 5 dB again reduction. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. And you can hear how the compressor smooth out the vocal, make it sound even better immediately. And I mean, no process and all of that because the, the initial vocal was very all over the place. Dynamically, you have some really loud part, you have some quiet part, you have some really loud, loud part. You have a part in it to actually a clip and then you have some quiet part. So the compressor kind of, and that's one of the things that good about the fear child or the puke child in this case, it smoothed out vocals really, really nice. A really good vocal compressor. The tubes, them... Um, in this case, when I have tubes, we have fucking one and zero car computer. But in a real life, like the tubes, them really add a nice character to vocals. And if we turn it off, you know. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. You know I mean, you can see the vocal a clip. If you look on the meter over here, so you see say they're right up to the green. The vocal a clip it loud. But the compressor just grab it and kind of tame it. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one Cause I'm his fave one Hold on, It's still like either. this one Hashtag that one Cause I'm his fave one He gon' like that one It's still like this one Hashtag that one Cause I'm his fave one. And then even if we increase back, so we have to cut about 10 dB. Even if we increase back, more sight. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. It still sound better than the original. Cause I'm his fave one. It's still like... You know what I mean? So that's the first one. We we'll get to all I would say about a 3 dB or so. Again, reduction. So let's move on to the IK multimedia version. Good thing about this is we can resize it, make it bigger. So we are going for the same 10 dB again reduction. But now I would reset the output knob because it automatically come with the plugin starting at two or plus two. So we'll put that back to zero. We'll um, put the time constant at the same five. And then we'll... Get the, 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 the threshold we like it. So like I said, we are do about um ten dB again reduction. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Oh sorry, I'm not even turn it on. Just do that again. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. Alright, you can hear so the, the 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 compressor kinda focus more upon the left and the right. That's because the, the input knob them. Separate, so all I'll do is we'll all just put that back right there. So he gon' like that one, it's still like this one. Hashtag that one, cuz I'm his fave one. And you see, so we're almost the all the way up with the threshold, and we still now get the 10 dB. In this case, so we can probably drive the um, the input a little bit. He gon' like that one, cool, it's still like this one. Hashtag that one Cause I'm his fave one So we are coming in at about five So we need to go out at about five He gon' like that one So we'll just increase this We'll switch the meter in from input to output And just increase this till we we'll start reach around five dB He gon' like that one It's still like this one Hashtag that one Turn it off Cause I'm his fave one it's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Alright, 
cool. Gonna... Definitely a different sound compared to the, the Waves version, you understand? So um, let's do the overload now. So let's turn this off, turn this on. See him 10 dB or so. He gon' like that one. We we'll don't put the consonant uh, 5 same way. He gon' like that one. Let me see, I like the Los Angeles version, so we'll use that. He gon' like that one. Let's turn on Link. Link basically just make them move at the same time. For turn it off, we can adjust the left separate. So let's turn on Link. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Mm. It's still like this one. Alright, so this is weird. I only see the reduction on one side. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. Not sure if it's a, a mono he version of like the plugin. One. I doubt it though. It's still like this one. Alright. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Alright, let's increase the output gear now. So let's, if we go in. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. You notice we are there around like plus three if we go out. He gon' like that one. So we'll just increase. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. And this is where you see what I'm talking about when the, when the plugins them start separate from each other. Notice how I drive the output. He gon' like that one. It's still like and the thing even a clip, but it not even a show it proper upon the meter. You know what I mean? So this is how the plugins them really kind of start separate themselves. So now we have one output here, so and we have another output over here, so which is why I say I can have extra features. So if we drive this output here, he gonna like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. You know what I mean? Now we start see it upon the meters. The compression. For the waves, the compression was the smoothest in the waves version. But like I said, I like this version here. I don't really use it for female vocals anyway. So I like this version more than the other two. But them all good, you understand? That's just one form of compressor. Basic. You know what I mean? So I move on into another form of compressor. And let's see. Um... Okay, so we have the API 2500 bus compressor. Good pan vocals, same way. Can't, you know, you can't really go wrong with it. So, you know, this case, I will do the same exact thing, but now, notice that we have a ratio. You know what I mean? We never have no ratio attack and release. Pan. Well, we have attack and release, but them combine it. Now we have ratio attack and release separate. We have a tone control, we have a link, we have the a type for the type of compression that we get. You understand? So basically, if I run through that really, really quick, the type old or new, basically, think of the old style as, um. if I bring up, bring up another compressor, I kind of show exactly what I go on, matter of fact. From fab filter. So see how you have this button right there. So I say look ahead. Think of the the new or think of the old style or no, yeah. Think of the new style as a look ahead type of compressor. It react or it actually go out and look for the signal and react to it. And then the old style would have wait for the signal to come and then it react. You understand what I'm saying? So the, 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 the new style go after the signal way more aggressive than the, the old style. It's all about TS once again. So it doesn't really matter how it um how it um sound or how it work is all about what you like. So if we run same vocal track through that we are going for the same 10 dB again reduction again. Um, so if we run run it through that the the the, the 2500. He gonna like that one. Cool. So we want the attack to be about that's about three milliseconds. And then the attack is really just how fast you want the compressor compress the vocals. You know what I mean? And when we get to the fab filter compressor, I'm gonna show you another um type of attack. So how fast you want the compressor compress the vocals. Still have to set the threshold. So let's start get some gear. He gonna like that one. Ratio is how much over the threshold. So if I set my threshold right now to 
and in in terms of the API, the threshold settings is kind of different from a lot of other compressors. Cause you will see right now, I have it as zero. He gonna like. But we still like get compression. So in this case, I don't really pay too much attention to what the number said. Just pay attention to what the meter said. So we still have go for the same three dB. He compression. gonna like that one. It's still like this one. It have an automatic makeup gain without turn it off. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. And you see, even with the threshold all the way up, we still now completely crush the vocal. That's because the ratio is set so moderate. It's 1.5 to 1. So if I go up 2 to 1. He gonna like that one. It's still like 3 to this 1. 4 to 1. That one. 6 to 1. Cause I'm his fave 10 to 1 limiting. It's still like this one. The meat as them start go crazy. You understand what I say? That's what I say. So right down in around three to one. Basically, the meat, the, the, the ratio of the compressor say, yo, every time the the signal got three dB above the threshold, we only go let through one dB. So if we the play and my threshold set to 10 and my signal go a minus seven. We only do hear one dB of the signal where they come through because the compressor say, no nah, man, we have to, we have to, you know, hold on upon them two and one can go through. You understand what I say? Think of it like a toll boat. You know what I mean? When them say one car at a time. Or if them say two car at a time, then if three cars show up, then them just go let through the two car and the other car for wait till another car show up. If you can, you know what I mean? If you can go through, think of the ratio like that. Release or how fast the car them go through. So if you think of release as a speed limit on the road, you know what I mean? It might say, yo, do 35 miles right here, so, or do 45 miles right here, so you get on the freeway, you might say do 55 and 65. So the release basically, I tell you how fast or how slow the compressor do let go or hold on upon the signal. You understand what I say? Say the release really, really fast, like 0 0.5. If like we go back to like, let's go to 2 to 1 and try the 10 dB. He gonna like that one. So a needle it just jump back as soon as it done. But if we go all the way up and just stretch out the release to the longest. He gon' like that one. It's needle not even want to come back, you understand what I say? And then they, like I said, the attack just I say how fast you want me to press the gas for go through the toll boot, basically, if you want to think of it like that. Either you want me to do it really, really fast or really, really slow. 30, I want me to use with me a master, but we're not going to really get into that. We're just going to discuss the features of the compressor. The tone is up to you. It's not really a way if you understand that. It just adds character to the, to, the, to, the, to the track. And not understand, but um, explain that. It's just a, it's a taste thing. Right now, I wouldn't do it because it wouldn't make no difference really to the vocals because it's not like we are hearing the vocals in context to something else. Um, the knee... So like I said, we'll get to a, a different attack in a second. So we'll talk about it. So the knee in a this case, a soft knee. What a soft knee would look like would be this. I mean, if you can see the, the, the behind, you can see how the knee, this is a hard knee. Basically what that means, if you have a soft knee, it has a yo. Without compress, let's say, so let's say you have a soft knee and a fast attack. The compressor say, all right, boom. Him want we attack fast, but him have a soft knee turn on. So what we do do is we do still attack fast, but we do just ease into it a little bit slower. We don't go just jump on it as soon as it crosses the threshold. We are just ease into it and we are going to leg our fight a little bit easier. You understand? So basically, a hard knee would have said, you know what, as soon as it crosses the threshold, grab on pan it and compress it. A soft knee would have said, yo, when it crosses the threshold, that's cool. We just now want it to go too crazy, so just grab it after a couple of seconds or a couple of milliseconds and, you know, slowly ease into the compression, not really jump into the compression too fast, you know what I mean? Not, you know what I mean? Not really grab it up too fast, you understand? So that's basically what they need, you know what I mean? So that's that for the, for the API. You have the um the Fab Filter Pro C, which I like because it have the maximize on the screen. So this is the hard knee. So if we... um. Let's engage this and start to compress the vocal a little bit. He gonna 
Then one. As you can see, because I have it set up a certain way where I get um, compression and no, when I, like, when I like that. So let's reset all of these settings. No side chain. He gonna like that one. But we still like get compression. It's still like this. So we still, we have a ratio. So we don't go two to one again. We don't increase the threshold. I don't want, like I say. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. More 10 dB again, Rudolph. Hashtag that one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Alright, cool. We have attack. We'll make it attack um relatively slow. We don't make the release um auto release so it can Lego whenever it feel like it wanna Lego. I'm no side chaining necessary, so we can close out of that. Um and then now we have whole time. So think of hold as um let's say I open a door for somebody. You know what I mean? And you open the door. And they might take long if you walk up to the door. Think of the whole time as how long you don't want to hold the door open for somebody to walk through. You know what I mean? And then release out of how quick you close the door. You understand what I'm saying? So you open the door for somebody and they might walk and then they see somebody on top and start chat. You let go off the door, you know what I mean? How fast you close the door would be the release. But the whole time is how long you hold the door open for them for them walk up before them start chat basically. So if we increase the whole time all the way. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Then if you turn it down. He gonna like that one. Just pay attention. You see how we have some square over here so and then we have some more natural type of thing I go on over here so that's basically the difference hold really make a difference when you talk about gate and expand now we get to that in a different video just kind of explain the different type of compressor them and the different features i mean we never really want to video drag on too long so i'll kind of go through the um the other one them over i've seen way and um just show you know some more different style of compressor and all of that so let's um move into the big blue so with this one, you have some other additional extra features. The main one is this choke knob. And basically all it do is add some analog characteristics, some harmonics, you understand? So if we do the same type of compression to the vocals. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. And then we have an auto makeup gain upon this one. I want that. We'll make the, the mix all the way up. Two to one ratio. Release with all go. Look a bit upon the slow side. And both us uh, like the same moderate type of attack. Bring down with her shoulder. He don't like that one. It's still like this one. Alright, so right around 10 dB. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Alright, cool. It's still like this one. Then if we turn on. Or turn up the chalk. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. You can just hear the harmonics. It's not harsh. It's soft harmonics. But if we turn turn it down. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Turn on the mix. Cause I'm his fave one. That's no compression. It's still like this one. That's with the compression. Hashtag. Now we have a medium knee. So if we go hard knee. He gonna like that one. You can listen to the tone or voice. It get a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. He gonna like that one. Soft. It's still like this one. Much more bright. Y'all hear them tss, tss, and all of that shit more. He gonna like that one. Hard. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Then now we have a new feature now. So we have a filter. So we can tell the compressor, say, yo, boom. Me know why your compressed frequency below this and above that. You understand? So now we are telling the compressor, say, we only want your compress in between them two knob. That's the only place we want compression. So if you pull them all the way down to zero and push this all the way up to 20K. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. You know what I mean? It sound like fucker. But if you tweak it and play around with it, you can come up with creative shit what you can do. Let like me say, I'm just to show you what the different features or compressors offer. This one, I even have a stereo knob. So if we push this all the way up wide. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. That's mono. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. 
and that's white. So it's just nice to have like a features like that. We also have a mid side mode, basically when you turn that on, that basically I tell us, yo, we are compressed the 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 two different section them separate the mids and the sides. Enough compressors have that. Nothing special about mid side. Um, another compressor me personally really really like um, is this Fet seventy six. Fet basically mean field effect transistor. Um, we have a couple of different version. We have the IK multimedia version. We have the Arturia version, and I believe I also have. Another version, 76. I believe I have the Waves version of the 76 too. I'm not sure if I did load it or not. I have a Waves version for it. That's actually one of my favorite, favorite plugins. I guess I never load it. Um, but basically... So what I like about Arturia is them kind of like overload where them add extra features. So if I come over here so and click that, we open up the extra features on the plugin. So we have a detection mode, we have a time warp, we have a EQ, you know what I mean? The range of compression I want, how much compression I want, basically. Um, and all type of stuff like that, you know what I mean? And that's like good. So just, you know, like I said, just like go over different compressors and want what different compressors are for. Um, how me would an approach the compression pan, this a vocal, just for kind of touch pan, um, uh, overall for kind of close out the video is more than do something like this so if I turn off all of them uh, and um, go back to something I would have probably actually used on our vocal so firstly would I use this definitely this is the the, the R compressor probably would I use R vox but not in a this case so I'll definitely use a 2A that's another compressor this is something new I'm going to get. So we'll try that out. Um, so let's turn that on. Let's turn on the two-way. Let's come up on the second channel. Um, let's bring up another two-way. This I want to have from T-Rex. So it's another T-Rex plugin. So let's bring that up. Can you use it? No problem. And then we'll use both of the, um, the 1176 them. So we'll bring up both of them. There. I'm going to just kind of show you how me would approach... Um, compressing our vocals in a this um, situation. And now, take in mind or keep in mind that there's no processing done upon our vocals, no DSing or anything like that. So be sure to keep that in mind. So in terms of order, we know we have waves, LA, and the pulsar. So this, this, and this are right, cool. And then everything else follows. So what we do do is we all just go ahead and turn off that. Um, most of these should have them on on off switch so I'll turn off that without turn off this same way and we'll work on the top three first and then we move on to the to the other three so let's turn them off so the first one is rvox so typically when we use rvox as you can see it's not one of these analog compressors uh, um, a compressor developed by waves it's not simply no analog compressor or nothing like that so it's a straight digital compressor I like left all of the settings them default the only things I would all change are gain, ratio, and threshold. Or left attack and release a 16 and 160, respectively. So we don't put the threshold automatically. We'll start at minus 20. Actually, let's um turn off all of the compressor them completely. So let's bypass this and let's bypass this. So now we only have the RVAX. He gonna like that one. <laughs> So notice we're not getting a compression because we don't have a ratio set. Right now the ratio set is um one, meaning it no do shit, it no do nothing at all. So we don't put the ratio at um we we'll go two to one. Actually we we'll go one point five to one. So for every dB over, we only have like two half. So we don't get probably around. 2 dB, 3 dB of compression. We have six compressors we don't use, so we don't really need to go crazy. Like I said, initially we did one 10 dB of gain reduction. So now we have six compressors, so we have six compressors what we can use, achieve that. We don't have to get all of that sound from one VST. And the benefit to doing it that the way it is that because we don't use one VST to squash it, the other compressor, them, they do not work as hard, so we get way less distortion. You understand what I'm saying? So we'll start out with this to get about two, this I'll get about two, this I'll get about two, you know what I mean? And work way down to about 10, 11 ish, 12 ish dB again reduction. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. 
Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. All right, so maybe some am going change the attack. So we don't make it attack a little faster because she have some really, really high dynamic range. Like she have some really loud parts to this. So I want to kind of tame them there a little bit quicker. He gonna like that one. Cool. It's still like this one. Now I mean, see how she just get loud like out and over. So that's cool. I like the sound. Let's bring back in about a DB and seven out of our takeaway. He gonna like that one. And that's cool. It's still like this one. Now let's bring in the 2A and we'll continue further. Squash. No, no, you're gonna say squash the vocal, compress the vocal. He gonna like that one. Let's switch this to gain reduction. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. As you can see, when I have no ratio upon this a compressor, you understand? The reason for that is because it's a fixed ratio. Only thing we have control over is the input gain and the output gain. It's a fixed ratio, fixed attack, fixed release. Which is perfectly fine. One of the greatest compressors I'm ever make. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Cool. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Cool. Let's insert this. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Alright, cool. So now you can see we have a threshold all the way down and we're not getting a reduction. So we as we can he go about like that, that one. we can increase the input while go into the compressor for get more compression. So that's what we'll do. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Actually, not even know do that. More just make it run through the compressor, get the like one dB water give me, and then use one of them compressor down below for kind of make make up for that. So we don't put this in a, a four to one ratio. We don't go attack really fast, release really slow. He gon' like that one. Turn it it's on. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Now you can see with this compressor here, we have the input and move and the output and move with it. That's because we have everything linked. If we de-link it, it do that, right? But we'll keep it linked. Not no problem with that. Actually, cool because the same amount what we are putting, we are get out. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Cool. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. Cool, cool. He gonna like that one. It's still like this one. Perfect. Let's run the famous LA2 air. He gonna like that one. Ooh, that's too much. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. He gonna like that one. Cool. It's still like this one. To bring in this. Hashtag that one. Ooh, that input hot, bruh. Let's go see him thing. We'll go attack fast and we'll release 3.5. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one. 
He gon' like that one It's still like this one Hashtag that one Cause I'm his fave one Remember, this is just pure compression, it's no EQing So if we record in comparison the vocals now so we'll record a second track underneath. Put the compression. Let's arm this record. Press all done. Uh, now if we play it, we should have this. He gon' like that one. It's still like this one. Hashtag that one. Cause I'm his fave one It's still like this one Hashtag that one Cause I'm his fave one No, I mean, you can see the difference Much more controlled You know what I mean? We still have some good dynamic range to it But it's a much more leveled vocal Look on the difference night and day You understand what I mean? I say no, you can get crazy with it, you can get retarded with it, but compression is a thing where you kind of want to be careful of, you know what I mean? You want to understand it before you really kind of drive it and go fully, fully crazy with it. You understand what I mean? I say, but just, you know, just take the, what you want me to say in the video and just kind of expand upon it, practice the VST them, you know what I mean? Pull up some compression and just fool around with them sometime, you know what I mean? You know, have to pull it up and they look on it like, what the fuck is this and da 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 da, you understand what I mean? I say, so. Yeah man, hopefully you understand more about compressor from the video, you understand? So until next time, it's your boys, be the trackster. Peace.